So the date is the 5th of August 2023 and I go to sleep at around 6.20 because I'm feeling really sick and all like the drama on Twitter has kept me up for the last few days because my opinion thinking about all this just makes me sick because of how everyone's behaving and I go on Twitter before I go to sleep and and see hey look no one's talking about Fiznum anymore boy how fucking stupid was I because I wake up at 9 31 p.m. and I see Fiznum's trending again and I thought oh okay not this again so I go look and of course it's people piling piling onto the fact that there's more Fiznom drama. And again, I'm very disgusted with the community. I'm gonna be serious. I've seen some people say he was the worst but the worst member of the entire fandom, which you literally can't say because there's been pedophiles and uh, necrophiles in this community. I've had a lot of people say, uh, he should grow the fuck up. But I think people need to actually take a look at mental health as a whole. Because please remember, Phil has been ba being badgered and badgered about FNAF Plus the whole time. If he, I'm really going to tell you to watch his video because his video will explain it better than I think I ever can. I also think it's funny the amount of people who say it's another Phil apologist on YouTube. It's funny the amount of people who actually never watched the video and understood his side of everything. I'm not saying that the video magically absolves him of everything, but I'm saying the video gives you, gives you a better look into Phil's psyche as a whole and definitely helps you understand where he's coming from and makes you understand what he's been going through. But it's about mental health. He goes into detail about his mental health. He goes into detail about he wasn't a good person. He goes into detail about how he fucked up, why he fucked up, what caused him to think this way. And you know what, seeing the FNAF community just piling on and on about uh, people posting that same FNAF 2 thing saying, good job, now get out, and seeing people say, you will not be missed, it's really fucking disgusting. The fandom is becoming the very thing that they've literally tried to cancel, a toxic fucking ass. And quite literally, in the end of it, Phil was the least toxic person in everything. Watching that video, you can tell he's coming from a place of sincerity and he's coming from a place of, well, actual human emotion. The fandom? Where are they coming from? They're coming from the witch hunting uh, or, uh, offices where they will try and cancel Phil for anything. And it's funny because they've already cancelled Phil. You've already cancelled Phil. He's stepped down because, in my opinion, it really sounded like Phil himself wanted to step down from all of the drama and he wasn't actually fired by Scott. And to be honest, I really believe that that's the case. Phil hasn't been doing okay mentally and FNAF Plus definitely wasn't helping him. And people constantly making the, uh, the same four unfunny jokes and I'm literally saying it's like the same four and funny jokes. It's not funny. It comes off as very fucking babyish and childish. If you're still making fun of Phil for the, for the fact that he was fired, if you're still making the same four jokes like pack watch and all that shit, you honestly, you've become the very thing you've tried to cancel. You, you're trying to get a few extra pot shots at a guy who literally has nothing right now in terms of career, I believe. And it's fucking disgusting. It's fucking disgusting. I was driving on the way home with my mom today, and even she noticed that I was acting like in a very bad mood. All this shit is effective is affecting people because it makes you think, has this same community I've been in for the last eight, nine years, are they actually really toxic? And no, I know that the FNAF community wasn't toxic a while ago. It's just unfortunate people in the community who are ginormous hypocrites, disgusting people, and really don't understand the fucking situation. And to be honest, I don't think you can give your two cents on the situation without actually watching Phil's video. I'm saying it now. You can't give your opinion on the situation without watching Phil's video. 
Why? Because it's going to be a matter of cherry picking. You're going to cherry pick the evidence and make him out as the bad guy when there's so many fans ignoring what they've done. Because this now stems far back, far back further than the whole ruin stream. Because Phil's been saying he doesn't want to be idolized and people started idolizing him. Don't put him on a pedestal. He didn't want his words to carry weight. People were doing that. He said he didn't want to be asked questions about Plus on his main account. And I, you guys can honestly tell how that went. People kept asking, kept hounding him, kept harassing him. And it affects you. It really affects you. So after all this, I really think Twitter should take this as a sign or like a story of what declining mental health can do. Or don't, you can just keep making the same uh, unfunny FNAF 2 jokes because Lord almighty, Twitter has not learned a fucking thing through all of this. All right, uh, thanks for watching. It's 9.49 p.m. And the uh, final closing statement is that Twitter is a bunch of fucking disgusting hypocrites who really don't understand both sides of the situation. So yeah.